wondering, what is a pharmacist doing here in Jeanette? Do you want to know her story? Yes. yes. It's not loud enough. I think she's not going to share a lot. Do you want to know her story? Yes. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kathleen Crowe. <laughs> All right. Second. So, so a lady. Huh. She's a lady boss. Wow. I'm not going to say too much, okay, because I'm going to bring her up right now, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Patricia! <laughs> All right. Thirdly, we're going to fly to the land of Singapore and fly back. And here, he's with us right now. His story has really... I've listened to it a few times. I'm like, every time I listen, I'm like, wow. Do you want to know who this person is? Yes. Because he was a high corporate person working in Singapore airport. Wow. What is he doing here in Genesis? Maybe just not the airline company. Okay, I'm not, not going to go there. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Safai Lee, Chris Evacua. Okay, all right. So we got two ladies. Of course, we need two men, right, to balance it out. So this gentleman, okay, you guys have seen him, okay? He is a PhD holder of civil engineering from London. He also has his own IT companies here in Malaysia running for 20 years. So you must be thinking, what is he doing here, right? Do you want to know his story? Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dr. Julian.
I feel frustrated and lack of self-confidence. So, um, I know that I need to do something. I need to have a change. I need to step out and take a massive action so that I can achieve my dream. So, thank you to my auntie Belinda that introduced me. So, I know that by sharing Jeanette's amazing platform that I can do e-commerce globally to more than 150 countries and I can earn USD in Malaysia and I can have flexible working hours which is very important for me who wants to take care of my kids by my own in the future. So um, I believe that if I work hard and relay the correct message to the people who are needed, I believe that Jeanette can definitely give me the, the future that I dream of. Wow, that's my number one very quick question, okay? Quick answer is, I know you love to travel to what you say, okay? Yes. And I know you very quickly, you hit your incentive trip to Greece. Yes. Wow, how did you do it? All right, I love to travel. And you know how you love to travel? Yes. yes. All right, that's good. So, um, I love to travel, but I always have this, um, problems whenever I need to travel and before that I need to have a lot of time to spend to survey for a budget hotel and a budget <laughs> flight ticket every time it's very troublesome so um, back in uh, the Bangkok Expo 9 in September when the, uh, the company announced uh, to take part in the um, in the I mean the incentive trip to Greece I was like wow why not I take part in it because when I went to the Bangkok and uh, I was very impressed with the five stars hotel Shangri La, so I said I must take part. I must. All right. So I started off by uh, purchasing the event package to have the privilege of getting the double travel point. And after that, I work hard. I try to like share with my friends and invite them to to uh, Jeanette's event. And I'm very grateful that I find a few friends that share the same dream. And that's how I did it. Right. Wow, fantastic! Who here yeah. wants to go Greece? Yes! Yeah. And um, of course, without the help from my lovely leaders, uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't make it. So I'd like to thank uh, Diamond June and Safina and uh, Belinda that um, thank you for their continuous support and guidance so that I can make it. Wow. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so for now, even though I just get the ticket, one ticket, I'm aiming for the second ticket so I can bring along my husband to enjoy wow. this five star trip. Wow. Wow. So nice. Wow. 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 Fantastic. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Kathy. Wow, amazing. Who here feel very excited right now? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Pat uh, uh, Cassie. Okay, Patricia, give it up for Patricia. Okay, I know Patricia, you are a business owner. You own a, 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 a company for a very long time, right? What makes you decide to join Janess? Hi, good, good evening to everyone here. Yeah, okay. that's what. Uh, Hilary has uh, introduced me and Patricia. I've been uh, running my own business, traditional business, for 31 years. See, when my friend uh, introduced me to Jeanette's platform, I was telling her that, oh, another another business. <laughs> so I told her I was not interested at that moment. So after that, she was telling, uh, telling me about, uh, you know, uh, about how great this business was at the time. Then I was telling her that, oh, because uh, maybe, because I've been running my business, I was, uh, I can consider that I was quite a successful businesswoman, okay. Maybe I'm too proud of that at that time. And then I was telling her, okay, in that case, let me try, I would like to buy uh, the products to use as a consumer, I was telling her. So I started to buy this, uh, the biggest package. Uh, as what she told me, you can only, maybe after you see it for three to six months, only you can see the impacts, you see. Oh my God, goodness. After using one week only, because due to business, uh, actually it's quite stretch, right? And I got all the lies all my face, you see. And you know, uh, the wrinkles, especially the grow lines, everything. After only a week, my friend was telling me, Hey, you look different. Do you go for Botox? I said, no, I do, don't, nothing at all. And then, 
uh, after that, um, my friend, I got my friend into the business through my sponsor. And then uh, later after that, my this business partners, actually she wanted me to get into the business. But as well, I told her earlier, I'm not interested in the business, but only using the products. So every now and then, she went to my office. Actually, she pretend maybe she said uh, she wanted to learn computer because she told me she's uh, actually uh, not good at all at computer. But finally, actually, I was convinced by her because you know why? She without uh, good knowledge of computers, she can earn as. At one time, she was telling me, while she was not feeling well, she, at that moment, within just, I think, a few, uh, just a short hour, you see, she made, I think, about 5,000 ringgit on the day itself. Then I started to say, well, maybe that is interesting. Because uh, throughout my years in the business, uh, I have to, I found that it's quite stress also. And then I started to learn business and she invited me to international uh, meeting event. And then after that, at one time, I was, uh, in fact, I went together with her to Hong Kong. And then I was inspired actually from Hong Kong event that I found out those professionals, you see, even young or seniors, and then the businessmen they came into this platform to do genes. That was how I started to be interested in this. Because from there on, I found out, I learned that they can make bigger money than me. In fact, I, <coughs> after that, that was about, I think about almost four years ago, I decided to give up my business. But actually, to start a business is easy. But to give up terrible, it's really a big headache. I. You see, I've gone through about four years only, I was able to sell my machineries because the machineries is so big that I don't know where am I going to move to if I'm not to get rid of, you know. So finally last year, through recognition, my machineries were sold. And then after that, by this year, at the end of last year, my shop lot was sold also. Because I decided, and finally my business, I closed my business. And then after closing my business, I came into this platform, wanted to make more money from here, because I found that it's through Jeanette's platform uh, that this is the vehicle that we can go worldwide to do charity, especially that what I was dreaming for all the work, you see. Wow, that's fantastic. I actually want to ask her a lot of questions, but her passion, you see that she keeps sharing with you. Can we give her another round of applause? Thank you. Okay, not yet, not yet, no pause the mic yet, okay? Because I know Patricia, okay, true, true, you know, true Jeanette, you can see a hope that you can, that, that your dreams is to, to go charity and so on, right? So, you know, um, what would you, advise people that these days that wants to go uh, open their own business. What is the difference that you see down here in this platform and also your traditional business? Okay, it's talking about traditional business. Uh, I was really very business-minded business when I was young. But when I started my business, I was not that young, you see. To be very frank, when I started my business, I got only 10K. Um, at 10 k to start a small business until it was expanded until this year when I closed. Because when I joined Genes, I found that with a digital capital, you see, uh, we can do business worldwide. Mm -hmm. Where my business uh, in 31 years, in the past 31 years, I was able to go in, uh, to, to have gone into only five countries. And then the money I spent was, especially a website, many more years, about more than 10 years ago, it's not cheap. I have to pay about 20K for the website. And then it's not easy to, and to be very frank, my turnover, especially the stock turnover, is about 300 to 400,000. 
And until today, when I close my business, you know what? I rather I say, oh, Mogan Thai, close my eye. <laughs> I brought home about still about hundred thousand of goods. You see, that's why I just close my eye. I say, well, uh, I've gone into the right platform into Genes. So why not instead of uh, looking on at the amount of goods that I have, I think at the end it will turn into rubbish. Okay. So I may as well work harder in Genes, and then. I can get back everything, and then in times to come, I'm looking forward, of course, uh, to share with my friends, to share with all partners together. And in fact, talking about difference on traditional business and genius platform, uh, I found that this uh, our founder, they are actually computer scientists, and compared to of course, this uh, is. Somehow or other, this is an e-commerce platform that totally different from traditional business. And then, their son, in fact, I got very inspired because he's still young. See, and we have many, many more years to go into the next. That's why I retire myself. I'm not young anyway. I'm also at my retired age, but I found that I can still keep going especially what our PM, our, this, uh, new, I would say, our Dr. Bahadur, as he says, although age is not, it's only a number. So if we don't keep going, I think we will, like, we, we will die earlier, or we will become, you know, uh, nobody, <laughs> you see? So we have to keep on going on to learn uh, to do whatever we can and be active. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> wow, what, what I learned a lot from, from Patricia is I know every single meeting she always come and I feel like, you know, when we learn, it's so important to learn even when we're young, even when we are older. And also you can see the life journey that she presented, you know, so well, and the differences that she see between genetics and also traditional business. Are you guys blown away yet? <coughs> yes. Wow, thank you so much, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, one more thing I would like to say that, because uh, why I was so stressed, as you know, in traditional business, I've got, in fact, about 10 staff. And as you over here, anyone is a boss, you can know that especially right at the end of the month, paying out of salary is really a real hectic to me. And, and also collection is also very hectic. Mm -hmm. And over here, of course, uh, why I love it? Because I started to travel at a very young age, about 20 years old. And during in the year of 70s, I have counted at that moment, maybe I can own a land, the money that I put on traveling. I can buy a big bungalow, I can buy lands, or I can buy many properties. And over here, even then when I was in business, I have to pay my staff holidays. And each time we go, maybe I have to spend about 30 or 40K, but it's not far away. So like Singapore, Thailand, Hong Kong, and China, see? But over here, we can have in genetics platform, we can have free holidays twice a year. That's why I love it. And then now, without, uh, and without have to hire any staff, I'm so free. And especially after giving up my, my own traditional business, I'm really, uh, I feel like, like flying as an eagle. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, thanks. Thank you, everyone, for giving. Uh, thank you, Hillary, for giving me this chance to share. Okay, as everyone knows, I mean, Singaporeans, we are pretty highly dedicated. That's the only thing that we do. Okay, we study hard, then we get a good job, we work hard. Okay, so I would say that Singaporeans, we are just good at working, taking instructions, and being an employee. That's why our government has to have had to encourage entrepreneurship. Okay, a lot of them are very comfortable. So, one important lesson that, I, that our education never taught us was it, it doesn't teach me how to carry favor. So when in the corporate world, okay, I don't climb as fast as my peers sometimes, okay, I just work hard, but I don't, don't get the kind of results that I wanted. Okay, so it's actually like very frustrating. I'm sure a lot of us in the corporate world, I, I don't need to go on and on and you understand the corporate pain. Okay, and of course, most importantly also, three years back, another important lesson that I come across was my mom, she almost lost her job because of a major illness. It was only then did I realize that, oh, not only I can't control my increment, the worst thing is I'm just using my time to exchange for money. Okay, I'm like, I'm like everyone else, okay? Even traditional business, even self-employed agents, everyone, we're just using our time to exchange for money. Not, nothing good about that. Okay, so especially with all the passive expenses piling up, okay, I, I never gave a serious thought what kind of passive income do I have? Okay, so at that time, it really struck me very hard and I started looking out and, and that time, okay, at first, my sister, she don't know how to share chillax with me. So she only know how to sell me reserve, okay? Especially when reserve helped her with her pre-cancer problem, okay? It was so good that the guy even told her to carry on taking reserve. So she just kept selling me because she thought I, I was holding a very good income in the airport. And she thought her brother don't need to earn more. So she kept selling me and pushing me reserve, but I, I really don't like, okay? Because you know Singaporeans are like, like what? Patricia has shared, there's this stigma with this industry. So at first when I saw supplements, okay, straight away I shunned away. Okay, I don't want to touch. Okay, but luckily, one fine day, okay, coincidentally, I came for one of this business showcase. I was blown away by the six streams of income that Hillary has just brilliantly presented. Because really, it gives me the kind of income that I can never get in the corporate world, no matter how hard I work. And of course, the team commission maximum is struck me very hard because straight away I saw that figure. I knew that was my annual income. Okay, so straight away, one thought came to my, my, my mind was, I, I must get involved because I wanted to convert my corporate annual income into gymnast money income. There's really no risk in this business. So straight away, I started, and even without any prior entrepreneurship experience, doesn't matter because we have all these great mentors to teach us. And definitely now I'm very thankful with some good results. And now traveling worldwide, I finally fired my boss and I'm doing Jeanette full time. That's why very grateful to Jeanette. Wow, fantastic. Who here wants to fire your boss? Oh, everyone got no boss right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's so amazing. I feel like, okay, next question is, you know, because when you're in corporate, people tell you what to do. Okay. So what is the difference down here? How did you kickstart this business? And how did you get to travel around? Yeah, okay. Again, like I said, uh, this is a very great testament as if this is truly a global business because why do I keep coming to Malaysia? Of course, not for fun. Okay, I'm really building my business in Malaysia. I also have my business in China, but, got, but of course, China is further. I don't travel that far. Especially this business, we just leverage on some online, great online meeting tools and there's virtually don't need to fly. There's also a lot of uh, mothers that can work this business from home. Absolutely amazing. Okay, but of course, being from the corporate background, okay, sometimes in this business, I, I realize why a lot of people sometimes they don't see it. It's because sometimes they're too comfortable, they don't see it. Okay, they got so used to whatever they are doing. Okay, they're so got so used to whatever they're doing, meaning they are, they are just used to taking instruction from the bosses, but they are actually not willing to step out on the entrepreneurship journey. But for me, it was a pretty smooth transition. Of course, it takes time because at first in the corporate world, we are so used to taking instructions and we just work the bare minimum so that we don't get reprimanded by our bosses. That's what we do in the corporate world. But in Jeunesse, it's totally different. Okay, You start, start out on the entrepreneurship journey and you need to have some self-discipline like what all bosses need. Okay? So, but the transition was pretty smooth because like I said once again, we have this proven method, our global mentor, selflessly just help you, guide you, and teach you, okay? And they are so nice that even they are far away, okay? But they will always answer our messages. They will also even do online meetings to guide us, okay? So, like I said, and with the six streams of income, it is not difficult for me to adapt because I just put my eye on the 26,250 per week 
and I just keep moving forward and, and, nev and have a never say die attitude. Because like I said, once you start on this entrepreneurship journey, definitely we'll, we'll, we'll face with rejections. Okay, but I told myself, just keep on facing some rejections here and there for three to five years, and I'll be the envious of all my friends. Because now my friends, they are still working hard in corporate world, and when I visit my ex colleague, they are still complaining about their corporate life. But now I'm free like a bird and I travel worldwide, they are really very envious. So I'm, again, like I said, I'm, I'm all, I always say that I'm, a, I'm an example of what genius can do for everyone. I'm never an exception. Yeah, very thankful. Wow, you're not for Christopher! Wow, fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. All right, last but not least, I know you guys got a lot of questions. You want to ask all of them. They can already ask. You can always grab them. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> They're all looking down. <laughs> Last but not least, Dr. Julian. Okay, so I know you are a, a PhD holder uh, from London and also you have four IT companies, longest running on its 20th year. So why Genes? Very good question. Well, good evening to everyone, first of all. Um, to, to be honest, I, I was actually a skeptic to begin with. How it started for me in the Genes journey is that four years ago, about four years ago, my wife, she came to me and asked me to help her to build this business. Okay, having run my own IT related businesses for, at that point in time, about 16 years, okay, I never expected to be in this industry. And even my wife also never expected to be in this industry. But however, the problem was that when I looked at her, she was dead serious about it. And it reminds me of this, when the man, says sorry when he's wrong, he is called honest. When a man says sorry when he is unsure, he's called wise. When a man says sorry even when he's right, he's called husband. Okay? <laughs> so, I knew I couldn't say no without good reason. So, you know when someone gives you something, what do you do? Do you know what my response was? Thank you. It's as simple as that. When someone gives you something, obviously someone you trust. Don't just take it from anyone, right? We've, thought, we've been taught that since we were very young. So I just said thank you, but I didn't answer yes or no, okay? So what I did at that point in time, being a researcher, you know, someone that likes to do a lot of research, that's why I'm a permanent head damaged, right? <laughs> so because of that, I, I started to do my studies about, you know, what this company had to offer. You see, for me, I was a skeptic for two reasons. One, we hear a lot of things about this industry. Not necessarily, and a lot of the times, it's, it's not very good. But it doesn't mean that there are no jams in the industry. But what, when I discovered what I found in Genes in this platform, I call it the four pillars of strength. And I think Hillary did an amazing job. Please give her a round of applause for her presentation. That covered most of it. Okay, so after this session, actually, I have a training, why Genes, and I'll go in depth. Okay, so for those of you that want to know what are the four pillars of strength, okay, stay on. So what I did, it blew me away, essentially. I knew, being a businessman, that this company had everything to make it very successful, even back then. And true enough, as you know, in 2015, the company in its sixth year, it achieved that, 1 billion US revenue. So I told my wife, why not? After all, this is something that we do on the side. We are not having to give up what we are already currently doing. So I told my wife, you know, let's do it. Okay, and we started to do it part time. And we have what is called the Shoot for Sky promotion. And uh, we achieved it, and we were very blessed. We achieved it in, in about seven weeks. We earned a bonus of 6,000 US dollars. So, which is fantastic. I'm doing it part time. Why not, right? So you all have this opportunity today. I know the deadline is actually at the end of the month, but the beauty is you don't have to hit that ramp to actually earn. So you know, we, so we that was our journey at the very beginning, and that's how we started. It's, it was as simple as that. Wow. Okay, <laughs> maybe just to share with you, you know. Just to give you an idea in terms of what I used to do in my traditional business and what I saw here in Genes. 
Would that be good for you? That was my yeah? question. Okay. Thank you. Right. So I just remembered the question. Okay. So essentially, being in business for 20 years, my one of my biggest headaches, the first seven to nine years wasn't an issue. And I was very blessed. The first business I got into, I was already a pioneer. And being a pioneer is fantastic. You know, because we could command the kind of fees we felt we deserved. So we, we were making good money in, in that time frame. But you know what, 20 years, don't you agree, is a long time? Yes. In that time frame, we, we, we were essentially training our own competition, right? So after about seven, nine years, some of them started to leave, and then started to compete with us. They are essentially providing the same level of service because we train them, right? But the biggest headache in traditional business is that when we train, they leave. Now with millennials, you all are getting smarter. You all don't stay in any one place for very long, maybe two, three years. So I, we train the millennials, they leave. So that cycle of us training and them leaving just keeps getting shorter. So timing, in a way, when my wife introduced me to this platform, was in a way very good, because I was having that headache, okay? so. In the 16 years and now in 20 years in traditional business, I've been very blessed to actually have expanded my businesses into four other countries. Uh, sorry, three other countries outside of Malaysia. So into Australia, into Indonesia, as well as into Singapore. And we worked with a lot of uh, world-renowned architects in the region and even from abroad. So essentially, the difference between what we have in Jeunesse is scalability is the least of our issue. So when we train a business partner and they are successful, because everyone, you must remember, they come into this business for themselves. They are doing this business as a business, right? So if they are successful, would they leave? No, they won't. They would go on to do the same. So it's in essence is that the nature of this business Scalability is the least of an issue, and you know it will. We are able to truly leave a legacy, because in traditional business, a lot of uh, businessmen that are very successful, when they want to hand over their business to their children, today most children don't want to do what the parents do, and the legacy stops there, right? In terms of business, but in this platform, even if our children do not want to do it but our two global teams are still, still being built, they are truly generating a residual income. So that's the true difference between what we have in this amazing platform to traditional business. Wow, fantastic. Wow, thank you so much for this amazing. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Give it up for